What's up? Thank you for tuning in to Call That Blow Up. This is Quay Valley, and today I'm going to be interviewing. Be nice. Be nice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make this video to go ahead and learn more about you and who you are and what kind of artist that you're going to be in the future. So, firstly, where are you from? From Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, okay. Detroit, Michigan, you feel me? But been down here like 10 years, so it's a, it's a, it's a give and go. I got, got love for all the Florida, for all of Florida, you feel me? Because it, it made me and taught me a lot of things that I know and I, I accomplished today in my life, you okay. feel me? So, got love for it, but I'm still Detroit at the heart, okay. always. All right. And um, what artists are you inspired by? Who inspired you? Lil Wayne. Okay. That's a, that's a major influence on me. Like, it, that I know, and I know that's the South. That's the South South, and I know I'm from all the way up north. But now nah, that's a that's a major inspiration on. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure it's not just me. I'm pretty no, sure it's everybody right. that make music. Like it's not it's not just me. It's everybody that make music all over. All the kids that's about to grow up in this next generation and everything right now is gonna hear Lil Wayne. Oh, I want to be like that. Exactly. That's. Yeah. Lil Wayne is the top. That's what came off my head. But uh, for like another two people, like if I could say, I, I love Young Thug, love Meek Mill. Oh yeah. So that's them three right there. I'm real deal inspired by. Is that your top three? Uh, I would say yeah. I would say yeah, in that order. All right. Lil Wayne, Young Thug, Meek Mill. I would say it just like that. And so um, I saw how you just dropped a couple few songs. Is there like a verse? For one of your tracks that you feel like is your favorite that you really rep by, anything like that? Hmm. Uh. I want to say I want to say like a, a I want to say I want to say that I would say I would just the whole the whole EP the whole EP who, who am I nice. who is D nice shit D nice on the wing you feel me that's. I don't really exactly know how to explain myself rather than I'm a young black man that make music. Feel me? Uh, uh artist, uh entrepreneur if you wanna say too. So I mean I don't really it ain't really nothing else to explain about the name. D nice but he not nice. You feel me? So, so is D nice or is he not nice? <laughs> <laughs> That gotta come for another episode. Well, okay. That gotta come for another episode. You gotta ask people around about that. Yeah, okay. So and um how do you feel when you step into the booth? Do you get like a adrenaline or a type of feeling or Yeah, when I step in the booth all I think about is shit talking. Bad. What is shit talking? Ha <laughs> Shit talking is basically let's put it like this. If you're not from Michigan, mm -hmm. you don't shit talk. No. You, f you might feel like it because you found a Michigan beat, whatever you rapping on it, it might sound good to you, your homies, all that type of shit. But I'm telling you niggas now, you're not shit talking, you just rapping. That's all you're doing. You will never have the audacity or the power to shit talk like that. You feel me? If you're not from Michigan, you can't do it. And I'm not hating, you feel me? I'm not saying, oh, y'all don't sound good on Michigan beats. It just don't. It just don't flow well with y'all. You feel me? It just don't flow well with other niggas who just try to who just try to do that. You feel me? You can't you can't try to rap like somebody or have the same energy or whatever the case may be if you if you don't if you're not in tune with that. If you're not in tune with that culture. You feel me? That's like me trying to go to a Spanish culture and do Spanish music. Yeah. How the fuck I'm gonna do that? That don't even make sense. It do. So it's like I don't know. That's that's where the title itself came from. Like the wood is shit talking because I was tired of people uh, proclaiming that they were shit talking, but in reality they just rapping. Oh, you think because you get in the booth, you say a couple of bars that make sense on a Michigan beat? Oh, you you automatically shit talking. Mm -hmm. Or your favorite artist is Rio, the young OG. Or you listen to a Peasy, or you listen to T Grizzly, all that type of shit. You think you shit talking? No, you're not shit talking. You just following in the footsteps of somebody else that's doing the shit talking. You not shit talking yourself. I'm the shit talking. Y'all just listeners. You feel me? That's what it is. So. 
What does that EP mean to you? To me, like I said, it's a wake up call. That ain't, but that's not the only thing y'all gonna get from me. Shit talking is not the only thing that people gonna get from me. My fans gonna get from me. The world gonna get from me. That's not the only thing. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm in touch. I'm in tune with Florida as well. Since I've been down here 10 years, you feel me? I'm in touch with this culture too. So it's like, I'm versatile. I can mix it up. I don't have to just do one thing. Yeah, okay. Like I can do it. So who's your targeted audience? You want to like music that's like good for the club, for bad bitches, something you could bump to with your friends, or just like, who are you trying to aim for? My target audience right now is the street, because that's who listen. That's who listen. The street listen, the children listen. That's who listen. And at the end of the day, a father or a mother can only do so much, or grandmother, grandpa, anybody can do only so much for their children that's in the house for listening to what they listen to. So at the end of the day, my music will be heard by children, by older people, by it don't matter, because you can only do so much. If I keep promoting it the way I promote it, it ain't got no choice but to be heard by everybody because people going to look at it like, oh, why he still promoting this? Well, let me let me see what this about. Yeah. That's That's my vision. You don't sit here and just drop a song and say, oh, shit, two days went by, I only got this many views. I, I don't like this. Yeah. You don't no, do you that. You don't do that. You got to promote, no matter if you got to pay for promotion, no matter no matter what, but you got to promote. So, I mean, it don't, like I said, my, my audience is everybody. I want everybody as my audience. I don't want to just pick and choose. So...